So if that doesn't uh, whet your appetite for what's coming up on YouTube, we're now going to have a display by the West Midland Police Dog Display Team and their commentator in the arena is Sergeant Peter Watson from the West Midlands Police. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's uh, Sergeant Pete Watson from the West Midlands Police Dog Training Unit. What are we going to show you today? We're going to take you on a little journey through the police dog's working life. We're going to show you a variety of our dogs, some of which you can see in front of you at the moment. Not all of these dogs you see at the moment are working dogs. Without these ladies and gentlemen you see in front of you here, we wouldn't be able to operate. These are our puppy walkers, very valued members of the public who assist us as volunteers to take our pups on till they're about approximately 12 months of age when they are handed to a handler to run on and prepare for a course. Okay, the dogs you see this, this morning are Liz over there with uh, police dog Chewy, who's three months old. Kelly with police dog Aza, who's five months old. Tina with police dog Arnhem, who's also five months old. In fact, they're little brothers, those two. Sarah with police dog Trotter, who's six months old. Marie with police dog Trev, who's six months old. PC Keith Bennett, who's one of our operational handlers, with Bart, who's eight months old. And then Luke with Rio, four months old. That's the dog, not Luke. Dave with police dog Savio, 12 month old German Shepherd dog there. And lastly, another Dave with police dog Ice, who's uh, two years old actually, and a German, a, a, a Dutch herder dog. Okay, as I said earlier, these uh, ladies and gentlemen help us and without their assistance we would not be able to do our job because obviously we have one of the largest breed schemes in this country for police dogs. We have 150 pups on the go at any one time and uh, without their assistance we wouldn't be able to do it. Right, on coming now we have uh, Mr. Dave Raymond who's one of our breed scheme managers and his very able assistant is PC Terry Arnett, who's also one of our instructors at the kennels and works in the breed scheme with Dave. Now, what you're going to see these gentlemen do is work some of the younger or older pups here. You're going to see police dog Bart, police dog Rio, police dog Savio, and police dog Ice. Now, when we get these dogs, we have these dogs and we breed these dogs for a very good reason. They're extremely highly driven animals and we use that drive to achieve what we need them to do. So what they're going to do now is Terry in front of me here has got a little puppy ragger. He's going to frustrate police dog Savio. No, it's Rio, get it right in a minute. Police dog Rio into a bark. And as you see, he's at the full extension of the lead there. And when he barks, nice and vocally, he gets rewarded with a bite on the ragger. Police dog Bart, who's a little bit older, again, he's on a puppy roll, and he's been frustrated into a bit of a bark, and then is given a bite on the puppy tug there. And Keith will run him off. There we go. PC Keith Bennett and police dog Bart, and Dave and police dog Rio. OK, police dog Savio over here, and police dog Ice up there, Isis says a little bit older. What they're doing now is they're moving on from the puppy ragger onto the bite pillow. And again, frustrates them into a bark with the pillow, gives them a bite, and now they're moving it on to a, a larger puppy tug, which actually slips onto the arm. What I must say, ladies and gentlemen, is the old adage, don't try this at home. Okay, we train these dogs, we have very experienced handlers and police dog training instructors, which these two gentlemen are, to bring and develop these dogs in a manner that is fit and is kind for the dogs as well. Okay, a bit of a grumble there from Savio, because he's enjoying himself far too much. There we go. So again, he releases the toy, a bit more frustration. What you're going to see now is a bit of a chase back, a little chase, dogs are released onto the arm, there we go. Good firm bite on these dogs. Very important that we ensure that they have one firm bite. Obviously, we can cause some damage to these dogs if they do have to bite an individual. And for that reason, there we go. Police dog ice 
and Chris Dog Savio. Okay, what we're going to show you now, it's not all about the big dogs. We've got some little dogs we want to show you as well. And we're going to show you a little bit of a demonstration from our specialist search dogs. So we're just going to lay some, uh, some props out here. We're going to be using two of our specialist search dogs, with PC Keith Bennett, who will appear on my right, and PC Neil Chennington, who will appear on my left. Neil has police dog Noddy, who is a three-year-old English Springer Spaniel from our breed scheme. And on my right, with PC Keith Bennett, is police dog Heath, who is a six-year-old English Springer Spaniel. OK, these dogs are obviously trained to find an individual scent. And what they're going to do now is work them nice and steadily. As you'll see, the dogs are quite focused, working their way up the side of the arena. And they're going to find an article, and they're going to give us, or show us, or indicate to the handler by using a passive indication, where they'll stand and stare. There we go. And the handlers are going to give a clicker reward. Some of you made no clicker. It's used to mark the behavior of the animal so that the dog knows he's doing exactly what we want from them. There we go. Reward with a toy. There we go. What they've just found there is a firearm that's been put down. Because these dogs are our drugs dogs, and they search for drugs, cash, and firearms. There we go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to work them down the cones. And if you watch these dogs very carefully, you'll notice that they examine each and every single inch of these cones up and down. And this is called focus training. So the dogs are really busy to get to the article. They work their way around, up and down the cone. They'll come in towards the suitcase and just watch them, how detailed they are as they work around the case. They're not interested in each other, these dogs. They're so focused on what they're doing. There we go. And again, you're about to see an indication from the dog, which will be nice and passive, as I said earlier, where they will sit and stare or stand and stare at the height where there's a substance. There we go. He's just going to hold that now. OK, there we go. So click reward is given, toy reward. There we go. So that's PC Keith Bennett, Police Dog Heath, and PC Neil Chanton and Police Dog Noddy. Now, we're just going to take these uh, articles off here, and we're going to show you another bit of a demonstration in a second. And so, oh, what's going on here? What's that all about? That's not right, is it, ladies and gentlemen, the Thursday afternoon? all this security, what's going on here? Watch these two, keep your eyes on them. Look at that, Mr. Wrangley over there and his partner. That's shocking behavior. Watch out, if anyone sees them later on, give me a shout. Okay, it's not all about the big dogs and biting and so on. We also use these dogs for tracking, to find offenders, and also to recover articles that may have been discarded from a robbery that you've just witnessed there. So on my right is uh, police dog Eco and PC Carl Dean. And he's going to set Eco up. They're actually a working uh, GP team on the streets of the West Midlands. And in a moment, Carl's going to come into the arena and set him up and do a property search. And again, this is very, like the specialist dogs. What the dog is searching for is human scent on recently discarded articles. So there we go. It's quite vocal. Again, a very highly driven animal. You're going to see a passive indication on these articles again, very similar to the specialist dogs. Look at that. There we go. So Carl's just going to recover that property. So you may have noticed that Carl there has given another clicker uh, in, uh, marker for the dog for his correct behavior and has rewarded them with his toy. So once he releases his toy, we'll carry on with the demonstration. As I said earlier, these dogs are extremely highly driven, and for that reason, they don't make good pets. They need a lot of exercise, a lot of interaction with the handler. There we go, look at that. Well done. There we go. Police dog Eco and PC Carl Dean. Right. What we're going to move on to now is we're going to show you some of our GP dogs, our general purpose patrol dogs. So these are actually licensed dogs that you're going to see now. And on my right, we have 
PC Harmesh Loy with Police Dog Justice, rather aptly named. And on my left, in a second, there we go, it's PC Carl Dean and Police Dog Echo. Okay, when these gentlemen come out into the arena, you're going to see it assisting them are two of our instructors from the kennels. It's PC Sue Cheek on the right and PC Darren Carmel on my right here. They're obviously wearing protective equipment underneath those garments. And we're going to show you four exercises here. We're going to start with what we call a standout exercise, which is when the dog is deployed against a running offender, the offender stops and the dog will stand out and not engage or bite the offender. There we go. You're not going to want to run away from those dogs now, are you, ladies and gentlemen? There we go. The dogs are then recalled to the handler and hooked up. There we go. Lovely. The next exercise you're going to see is what we call a straight chase. So the offender will run off, challenges will be given by the handler, the offender will ignore these challenges and the dog will be deployed to detain the running offender. I'm just going to move out of the way over here into safety. There we go, justice is deployed on the arm, detains the offender. The handler will chase up behind the dog and back the dog up. Nice to release there, ladies and gentlemen. That's, here we go. Would you like to see that again? Here we go. Sue Cheek and now is going to run off. Echo's deployed. A nice bite. Whee! Oh dear. There will be no ribbing about that at all, Sue, later. <laughs> there we go, right. Now, the last exercise you're going to see here, no, it's not actually the last one, it's another one, which is quite a good one, it's called a stop the dog. Now, if you can imagine, the offender's running off, the dog's been deployed, but for some reason, the offender might go out of sight, the dog's got to be recalled or stopped. There we go. Excellent control, lovely. Now, that is a stop the dog. What you're going to see now is a recall. The recall will come first before the stop, and the stop is a graduation from that. There we go. Well done. The last little exercise we're going to show you now is what we call the test of courage for the dog. And these exercises are carried out in order to ensure that the dogs can work against aggressive females who hopefully stay on their feet and aggressive males, okay? Now we've got two armed criminals here with sticks. They're going to advance rather menacingly towards the dogs. The handlers are going to challenge and the dogs will be deployed. There we go. Good attacks, good firm bites. The stick is waved around the dog. Criminals have disarmed. There we go. Well done. Thank you, guys. PC Sue Cheek, PC Dan Carmel, H. Loy, Carl Dean, Eco, and Justice. Okay, now. Oh, dear. Again. Look at this. It's Mr. Angry and his partner again. So what we're going to see now is some of our firearms support dogs are going to deal with this rather nasty little individual. So they've been challenged by our armed police colleagues here. PC Keith Bennett is going to deploy with police dog Scar. And we're going to do a tag and drag. So the dog is going to be sent out. That was rather loud, wasn't it? That shook me up a bit there. There we go, it's deployed on a long line, and he can now be retrieved back into cover without putting our colleagues in any danger. He's gonna drop the gun, there we go, and bring the offender back into cover. Well done.
There we go, a nice release, and off we go. What we're going to show you now is uh, Scar here with Keith, Keith Bennett is actually a general purpose patrol dog who also has a firearm support dog as a bolt on. And the reason we choose these dogs for this, this kind of role is because they're sociable animals, but they're also very highly driven and have an excellent level of control. And we're going to show a level of this control in front of Mr. Angry here. So Scar is going to be worked against the bike suit, which at the end of the day is just nothing but a big toy for the dog. So he's going to work Scar backwards and forwards. The dog's not going to show any interest in that suit whatsoever. He's going to send him into watch, which is a standout again. Nice control there. So Dave can move the dog backwards and forwards. The dog will not engage. There we go. So the handler can work a good distance away from the dog, so he's not putting himself in any danger. I think he's enjoying that a bit much, doesn't he? Okay, so a little bit more work is going to go on here. Scar's going to be sent. So even in different positions, not only standing up and sitting down and kneeling, the dog will not engage with that offender unless the offender makes a movement that could harm the dog. The dog will make his own decision to engage. There we go. Lovely. Bit of a straight chase on the suit. There we go. So you can see how hard these dogs bite by the very nature that Dave is able to spin Scar around and Scar will not come off. There we go. PC Keith Bennett and police dog Scar. So what you saw there was a tag and drag against Mr. Angry, who was obviously very angry and showing a lot of aggression. Oh, here he goes again. Because he's nicer than you, that's why. My office, Monday morning, Terry. Okay, so what we've got here is Terry's come back in again. We're going to show you what we call a passive attack. So t Terry, he doesn't speak to his wife like that, I can tell you. So Terry's going to give the dog absolutely nothing, no aggression. He's going to be completely non-compliant, but obviously we believe him to be armed and he needs to be dealt with quite firmly. So for that reason, police dog Titan, who's one of our other firearm support dogs, is going to be deployed against them. All police, stand away! Move away from the weapon! All police! So he's ignoring them, he's been non-compliant, he's been given plenty of challenges, Titan is deployed. There we go. And if you watch Titan now, he's going to dig in and pull Terry all the way back. Look at that. Well done. PC Neil Sherrington, Police Dog Titan. Right now, a bit of fun. It's all fun, isn't it, really? A bit of fun. This is what we call a double dog attack. Not something we would do operationally, but it's just something that we can show to show off, basically, the element of control that these dogs have. So Mr. Angry is coming back into the arena. Lots of shouting. It's just not right, is it? This is the time we can have a go at all, all our bosses sat in the front row there. There we go. So, Keith Bennett, Scar, Neil Chanton and Titan. Dogs are deployed together. There we go. Dave's going to turn round. The dogs are going to be recalled across each other now. Well done. There we go. Keith and Scar. Neil and Titan and Mr. Angry. It's going to be escorted off now. That completes our little demonstration for you this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please enjoy the rest of your day at Crofts.